Mic test, mic test. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. I hope we're all doing wonderful today. I hope we're all having a fine Monday. I see that Mannix is already here. How are you doing, my sir? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, so I think uh, I think we all may perhaps chance uh, heard the news about uh, yesterday during the Xbox Bethesda conference about... Um, one, you know, niche, not very well-known um, series of games um, that are getting a Steam uh, and Xbox release. Um, you know, a little game known as Persona 3, Persona 4, and Persona 5 Royal. Um, and, uh, yeah, so pretty excited about that I am. Uh, it's funny because I feel like I remember... 
on Saturday during the Dark Souls Duolingo stream, I mentioned, I believe I mentioned, if I'm remembering correctly, I mentioned that if Persona 5 ever gets ported to the PC, I'm going to be streaming that bitch. <laughs> Uh, so lo and behold, I do plan to stream that bitch at some point. Um, now, important thing to realize, the release date, I believe they said, was 10-21-2022. So that's like just over a month after the planned release of Trails from Zero. So chances are I'll still be playing through that game when P5R gets like ported or gets released on Steam, which is perfectly fine with me. I'll be completely honest. Um, because that game will take a while to get through. Um, uh, so, uh, I, I am definitely not going to be starting streaming that immediately after it's been released as well. So, I will play it, but that one, <laughs> uh, I am a lot more invested in playing through Trails from Zero and giving that one the, uh, the attention it deserves. But today, we are playing Trails in the Sky the Third. Because this is a great game that deserves its own attention. So, uh, the last couple streams, last three streams, I think, I've been doing only doors. Um, and this is the final star door I have left. Um, before I need to progress in the story to unlock the final, final one and also get the necessary item to do the last level of the arena. So, um, I plan to, you know, do exactly that and to proceed forth and play the game. All is one, and one is all. All begins with one, and in the end it returns to one. Only when you have released all the other doors shall this one open. Um... Okay. So I guess I'm not doing this door. I thought I could do it. Um... Okay, so I guess that is like the last, last door. Because... Yeah, that one... Yeah, because all the others, right, moon, did all the moons, sun, did all the suns, the only one that I haven't done is the remit last level of sun door, which makes me think that maybe I have to do that, maybe not, um, I've done all the other star doors, uh, stars, you know, all those, so... Maybe 15 unlocks? Maybe? I don't know. Not sure. All, uh, all I know is what that does and makes it so I can actually go to the main story a bit fat, a bit earlier than I was expecting. Um, so, we are going to the Herbe Scenic Route, because now, um, after the final story thing we did before, they said that the... Um... Actually, no. I need to go to base area. Um, they said that the final, uh, actually, when was the last time I, t I can't, I can't remember. When was the last time I drank up? Uh, darn it. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, back to the airbase scene crew. Last time I did story stuff, it was the final, uh, uh, it was the final, like, monument thing. Um, so, uh, it got rid of the... Uh, it got rid of the barrier in front of the Washima call it in front of the capital, if I remember right. Or no, it wasn't in front of the capital. It was in front of the Herbe Royal Villa. Yeah, of course, yeah, because we've already been to the capital. We don't need to go back there. Um. Okay. So cool. You do that. Just doing this to get a little bit more uh, CP for everyone because I wasn't able to uh, fill up. And also, in every battle I take, lets me go up a little bit more. Remember a villa? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go in. Now it's fog instead of, or mist, instead of the blue barrier. Mist? 
Well, once again, we're in for some fun times up ahead. No telling what it could be, but we'll have to walk through here eventually. Just take a deep breath and step inside, I guess. Hey, Fontano, how's it going, my man? Hope you're doing well. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> ay, 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 I am Lord. Uh, hope, uh, hope you're having a nice day. Uh, you see the, uh, see the good news yesterday from the Microsoft and, uh, Bethesda conference? <laughs> About the, uh, that, that niche game series, Persona. <laughs> Where? <laughs> I mean, it's news, yeah. <laughs> I know it. Where are we now? Doesn't look like everybody wrote a villa, at least. <laughs> oh, you're right. Hey, look at that, it's all rainbow. Cool. Wait, isn't that the church's emblem? Kevin. Uh, okay, so this is Kevin's past. Or a place that means a lot to him. Welcome to Ath the House. The place where Reese, Rufina, and I grew up together. Okay. Oh, okay, that was literally just the end of chapter. Okay, well. <laughs> I, re I, I really, uh... I, I really stopped at the perfect time. <laughs> uh, stopped at the absolute perfect time, because now I can just come in here and type in chapter 7 in the stream title. Boom. There we go. Now we're all set. But yeah, I, uh, prior to the um, prior to the stream, chapter seven, the distant flames. Prior to the stream, I actually posted on Twitter how um, I'm actually planning to do like a, I guess a channel redesign across Twitch and YouTube, um, and how I'm looking for and that'll, that'll be done over the course of probably several months but right now i'm looking to commission an artist to uh to uh draw a character that i've been thinking of that i'm thinking i want to have be like the i guess like the channel mascot or like the face of it so here's to open people on twitter uh see it and drop some suggestions for people that are good at drawing this is only a copy of Astor House, yes? I can't believe you've died 19 times on trails. Fuck. I keep for I keep forgetting. <laughs> I keep forgetting that those like because I'll turn I'll turn off DS3, but I won't I, I'll forget to turn off the <laughs> the death count. Should really make that a toggle on uh <laughs> on my stream deck. <laughs> but it looks so so yeah, I can barely bring myself to accept it's not the real thing. I bring from everything from the feel of the earth underfoot to the smells in the air, just like the real thing. Yeah, this is where the two of you grew up? Judging by the emblem at the entrance, I take it this is a facility operated by the Septian Church. That's right. It's what's called the Gospel Facility. Think of it as them as a cross between an orphanage and a monastery. I see. So that means you must be... You're ready for a lot of talking. This place is a plot dump. Okay. I, you know, I figured. Usually, I feel like the start of chapter cutscenes are usually a bit wordier. Well, no reason to dance around it. So, yep. I'm an orphan. I'm a, tra I'm a Trails protagonist. <laughs> My parents are dead. What about it? <laughs> now I came to be here as a story best saved for another day. I got kissed on the lips by a goyle. Feels weird being back here again, though. It's been about five years. Five very long years. Well, anyway, I'm bound to find some kind of clue as to how to get to the seventh plane somewhere in here. You guys up for having a look around the area with me? Yeah, let's go. Okay. So, we got it. Okay, so let's start at, uh... Start here. Just do perimeter... Perimeter sweep. There's an empty well. We used to get a drink of water out of here. Get no fancy oval pumps either. They're all using a good old fashioned bucket with string attached. It was a nightmare. Tell me about it. We would go out on winter mornings and come back with our hands numb and red raw. Looking back on the whole experience now, it was fun in its own way. <laughs> I guess it was. Oh, God, it's like using an outhouse. Outhouses in the winter suck. 
massive balls. Because <laughs> you're just like, oh god, it's nighttime, so it's super dark, and I need to go use the bathroom. And that's outside in a rickety old wooden thing with like no insulation. It's cold. It's oh so cold. My giblet's about to freeze out. Okay, so first building. What's this room? This is the living room where we used to all have our meals. Just don't make the mistake of thinking it was a warm place like Mercy Orphanage. The major near was a stubborn old sister who was as strict as could be. Every mealtime we had to pray so much that our stomachs had given up on getting fed by the end of it. We got yelled at for the tiniest thing. Oh, I see. That sounds like about what you'd expect from a church on orphanage, though, I suppose. You deserved it all, in my opinion. You never did, as you were told, and caused her nothing but grief. <laughs> okay, I'll admit that's probably accurate, but still! She was a fucking old crone, you know what I'm saying? Bread! As you can probably guess, this right here is the kitchen. This is where the older children in the facility did the cooking. It was also Reese's favorite place to sneak into whenever she had a hankering for some food. Kevin! Oh god, I need to go blow my nose for some reason. One sec. And I'm back. Sorry, I... Uh, I did some nasal spray medicine, like, this ten minutes before starting the stream, so I think uh, it's starting to, I guess, maybe work? I don't know. Uh, but it uh, was definitely causing some stuff, because the stuff that I uh, got out of me tasted exactly like the medicine. Drosh the Sensational, apparently one of the hardest tyrants to find in the game. Once here at Spawn Tree, wait, takes a bit for the enemy to spawn. Drosh only appears occasionally. It's so rare that as of this rank, during times I mean, over a year after release in the West, it has only been killed 1204 times. Oh my god. That is. <laughs> so, just get there and wait. That's. That's a. That's such. Such a bad spawn system. <laughs> Like, I'm fine with having it be like, oh, this thing appears at a certain time of day, right? But in that case, it should be 100%. Something else spawns fast travel and try again. That brings back memories of Matron Teresa's orphanage. Daniel and Paul used to do that, too. Perhaps they still do. As <laughs> I say, I can hardly imagine. Please don't take everything he says at face value. <laughs> well, anyway... This is always Rufina's stuff back when she was still here. She was always out here around mealtime making food for me, Reese, and the other kids. After she left, Reese and I took over her position. That brings back memories. Of course, then you left too, leaving me to handle it all alone. Ah, uh, yeah. The mere thought aggravates me. In fact, I think you should whip up something right now to make up for your selfishness. Yes, ma'am. I'll make you something... later. <laughs> the only thing less reliable than a promise with later attached to the end is one said by you. I'm not going to get my hopes up. <laughs> Man, no faith in me, huh? <laughs> Only faith in our Lord Adios. Thank you. Okay, anything here? No? Okay. Boom. Ooh, going upstairs. Going up the stairs, going down the stairs. Going up the stairs, going down the stairs. Going up the sideways stairs. This is the kids' bedroom. Slept the back when I was first taken in before graduating to the boys' bedroom. And I really did mix well with the other children. Rufina had such a hard time trying to get you to make friends with them. It was a real ordeal for her, you know. Yeah, I know. I was like a little hedgehog who didn't want to let anyone get in the air back then. 
I feel sorry for everyone who had to put up with me. Still amazed you even bothered trying to be friendly. Well, I knew you were only playing tough. Like that time with Rafina and the chocolate. Stop! We're not hearing that story here. I wonder what happened. <laughs> the chocolate! CHOCOLATE! <laughs> this was the matron's room. No one's here now, though. Yeah. By the way, Reese, how's the matron these days? She's fine. Her injuries weren't lasting. She hasn't had the energy she used to ever since retiring, unfortunately. She really wanted to see you again, Kevin. She dead, huh? Okay, so apparently the matron got injured somehow. This is the boys' bedroom where I slept in I was about 10 years old. Technically, the boys and girls weren't supposed to enter one of those bedrooms. Dad never stopped Reese here from doing it all the time, though. What he neglects to mention is that it was his fault I did so. What else was I supposed to do when he slept in every morning he was on cleaning duty? But, well, you could just knock on the door until I got up. Then I'd disturb the other boys who were sleeping, which would have been unfair. They weren't the ones shirking their duties. It was 100% your fault. Fine, fine, whatever you say. Uh... Kevin, the most serious priest. <laughs> this is the girls' bedroom. Place where Rufina spent her nights, same for you eventually too, Reese. I even used to sleep with her from time to time. Her bed was always cozy and smelled really nice. It was much nicer than sleeping in my own. After she left here, her bed became mine. I bet you were jealous. <laughs> you bet. That was at the time, I'll admit. Oh, I thought you'd be a bit more flustered than that. I shouldn't have bothered saying anything. Give me a break. Okay. So we got all that. So it's so this area seems to be a whole bunch of like little exposition uh, sequences. I am surprised that there is not a thing for farm. I'm surprised it's just the why it's just the well. Door is locked. Big yes. Is it locked? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, we can keep bogging around. The door stuck fast and doesn't have a keyhole. How's this door open? This is a side entrance that only opens from the inside. We can't get in from the outside. Yeah, if we want to get into the chapel, we're going to have to go through the front. Okay. Door is locked. The door is not ajar. Um, okay. So I'll say this is dumb. Leave the kitchen by the south exit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is dumb. You have to leave. So they're presuming a path. They're presuming the first thing you would do is check the chapel. Find it locked. Go to the side entrance. Get that. Then go inside, go upstairs, do that, then go down, go into the kitchen, and then out that door. That is their presumed loop, but I will say, I will say that is dumb. <laughs> that it is not just auto-proc from whatever, when you've done the last thing you need to do. Uh, there's no sign of anything in there. Our last hope seems to be the chapel. So it seems. What is it, Kevin? Hey, Reese. You're the one responsible for cleaning the chapel that day, right? What day? On Ask the House's final day. When Rufina died. C Kevin? You don't think? That was what I was told when I went to visit the mansion afterward, at least. Well? Were you? Y yeah. I was. Why? I thought so. Check your pockets, Reese. I'm pretty sure the chapel key is in one of them. Huh? Reese began checking the pockets of her habit. Eventually, she found an old brass key. Found chapel key. Can't be. Is that the key? I see now. Guess this is just another manifestation of Phantasma's ability to make thoughts into reality. Honestly, I wasn't sure you'd find it in there. But in all the other areas on this plane, there was always a reason to take the person we needed with us. This just goes to show that you really were meant to come here, Reese. But... But... No. As disbelieving as I am, this is definitely the chapel's key. I suppose all we can do right now is try to go inside. Yeah. 
door is locked. Before we go in here, Ace, there's something I should warn you about. Once you step through that door, there'll be no going back. You're gonna find out the truth about what happened that day. All of it. And you won't like it. You sure you're ready for what you're about to find? Use the key! I'm more than ready. All these years, I've never quite been able to accept what happened here. The life I thought I knew just suddenly came to an end, with all, us all gang moved to other places, and I still don't even know why. I even tried to come back here just before beginning my training to become a squire, but it had already been demolished. I've been ready for a long time. I want to know the truth, and more than anything, I feel like knowing will let me get closer to you and Rafina. Okay. Let's head on in then. Right. Kevin, should the rest of us stay outside for now? No, actually I prefer if you came in with me. This is relevant to you guys too, in a sense. Okay. So let's see the big plot lore jump. Nice stained glass windows. Stained glass really is just like a really cool art form. Like, it's just so neat. So pretty as well. The one good thing the <laughs> the church has given the world. Some pretty sick windows. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it all started five years ago. A Jaeger course someone that had took this place over out of nowhere. By the way, how much do you remember of that day, Reese? Just so I know. I... I just remember a group of men in black forcing their way through the gate and charging in here. They tied everyone up, took the matron up to the second floor, and then... Next thing you knew, you were in a bed in the hospital in town, right? After which you found out that Rufina and I had come to rescue everyone. And that she had died in the process. That about right? Mm-hmm. Just what happened, Kevin? All I've heard is that it was the work of someone who opposed the church. But I haven't had a chance to meet you since then, much less ask you about it. I tried asking the instructor's cellmate, but she wouldn't say a word. That doesn't surprise me. The Grosser's commander can't admit this orphanage was being used as a smokescreen for an artifact that needed sealing away. It what? Okay. Here we go. Le gasp. Okay. Okay, so they sealed an artifact away, just put an orphanage on top of it, because it's like, unassuming orphanage, go! <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> A secret passage? Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! <laughs> oh, we all love that episode of Avatar. Wait, there's an artifact here. You don't mean... Yep. Below here is a primal ground used to see all the facts away. Just like the one on the Grand South Cathedral. <gasps> okay. Nidorino. The long staircase of Spiral Dump. I'm sure you remember. The day it all happened, Rufina and I were due to come back here for the first time in a while. And you know what that means? Plot! Infinite Spiral! Dude, oh my god, it's Tengen Top of Gurren Lagan stairs. Infinite spiral energy. We are both coming from different places we've been sent, so we wanted to meet up in town and come the rest of the way here together. But then the train was delayed, leaving me in town to wait for her alone. That was, that was when I got word of what happened. All I could think was that you and the other kids were in danger. So I tried, and so I decided to try to take out the Yeagers here alone. They weren't all that experienced, so fighting them wasn't even hard for a squire like me. Before long, I was able to disable them all and free the matron and the other kids. Or so I thought. You were nowhere to be seen. I asked the other kids where you were. They told me one of the Jaegers had taken you somewhere else and that you were unconscious. I looked frantically all over trying to find you before eventually stumbling across this place. As for how... You remember how you didn't have your ribbon in your hair when you woke up, Reese? I do. What does that have to do with anything? I found that ribbon in front of the secret passage we'd just gone through. And there were new footprints near it, though. Made it easy to find the entrance. Oh. Anyway, after getting in here, I made my way down the staircase and pursued the Jaeger that had taken you. 
Okay, infinite, sp infinite spiral over. Hey, Reese. You remember what I was like back when you first met me? Yeah. I was still young at the time, but it was as if... But it's as if... But it's as fresh as if it were only yesterday. Yeah. You look like you've been swallowed by blackness. Like there wasn't a single thread of hope bound to you. It was scary. So my older sister, Winry, <laughs> gave, gave you a piece of chocolate. <laughs> I kept wondering what must have happened to you. And what you must have seen to make you end up like end up that way. <laughs> what must have happened to me, eh? Rufina seemed like she knew. Before I met you, I killed my mom. <laughs> Maybe killed isn't the right expression. It's not like I directly did it. I still let her die, though. I've still got a responsibility for what happened. Okay. <laughs> Hi ho! I'm little Kevin. <laughs> Growing up, it was basically me and my mom for the most part. My father showed his face from time to time, but not that much. From what I understand, he had another family elsewhere. But even without him, she did her best to look after me on her own. I loved the deal. Kids in the neighborhood used to make fun of me for how I talked, which I got from her. But I just beat them up most of the time. She was always kind, she loved cooking, and yeah, I thought the world of her. When I was seven, my father, who had all the money in the world, chose to abandon her. At the best of times, she was always a frail person. And after that, she grew more and more despondent. Her health suffered. I tried everything a kid could do to cheer her up, but nothing I did worked. And during one winter's day when she must have finally had enough, she came over while I was sleeping and tried to strangle me. I'm so sorry, Kevin. I failed as your mother. But I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. At least this way. At least this way, the two of us can... Oof, God, this is fucking dark. I guess she figured that if we were both going to suffer, we might as well take the easy way out as a family. But I wouldn't let her take me with her. Before I knew what I was doing, I'd pushed her aside and ran barefoot out into the snow. Wandered around for a while after that. Couldn't understand what had happened or what she'd been trying to do. Eventually, I could feel myself getting hungry. Thought that maybe she'd been able to clear her head. I made my way back home, nervous as could be, and... for making you listen to all this. Still, I think that's probably when it happened. When my stigma was carved inside me. What? Video games are fun. Yeah, like, honestly? That's a, that's, that's a pretty tragic backstory. <laughs> pretty fucking tragic. Like, I feel like the... I, f I feel like Joshua's is probably the only one that's approximately equivalent in terms of... That's rough, buddy. <laughs> Cause, like... Jesus. That's... <laughs> like... Like, freaking... Fa fa like... An attempted family packed suicide, basically, that failed and have to come back. Like, <laughs> like power to kid Kevin being like, maybe mom's cleared her head. <laughs> maybe her trying to strangle the shit out of me with, you know, just her, you know, it's just, you know, some, some bad thoughts she had to air out. <laughs> I should probably go back. Like, God damn, dude. All right. I had no idea there was a place like this under Grand South Cathedral. This is where I finally caught up to the Yegu who had you with him. Probably didn't think anyone was going to come after him. 
The second he saw me, he panicked and put his gun down and he ran over to this pedestal right in front of us. Oh, and it was the artifact that required sealing away I mentioned earlier. The Spear of Loa. Hey, that's his S-Craft. What's the Spear of Loa? A malignant spear that transforms the body of its wielder into that of a monster. It's hard to believe that something like that could be a gift from the goddess, right? In any case, the cornered Jaeger grabbed it and used it. Okay. Interessante. Oh, that's a pretty cool spear. I didn't stand a chance. Much as I tried, I wasn't any match for the human, inhuman monster before me. He knocked me to the ground and then went to raise the spear against the still unconscious you. That's all it took. That's the, that's the sound of a crossbow. My stigma draw of the spear's power from it into itself, and blasted it, magnified countless times over into the Jaeger's body. The result wasn't even a battle. Our precious home became a slaughterhouse. By the end, he wasn't even recognizable, just thousands of lumps of flesh strewn all over the floor. After defeating him, my stigma's power was still coursing through my body. Never experienced anything like that before. I lost complete control of myself. At this point, Rafina arrived, and she seemed to understand exactly what had happened. Using her bowgun and Templar sword, she was able to separate me from you and prevent me from doing you any harm. And then... She just took the fucking hit. She just pulled a Mr. Piccolo. Arms spread wide. Oh, God. When I returned to my senses, I was in her arms, dumbfounded. Her body was full of holes all over, but she hugged me as tightly as she could. That's when she drew her last breath. Damn, son. <laughs> Kevin has had a fucking rough hand in life. <laughs> like, not gonna lie. It's pretty fucked. Like, at least Joshua only had the one bad experience as a child. It didn't cont it didn't happen again. The closest he got to having it happen again was realizing that he was still mind controlled. I feel like that was the closest he got, but he didn't do anything bad after that. But I say do anything bad. He didn't he didn't hurt any further people. <laughs> like <laughs> But Kevin, he has been dealt a goddamn rough backstory. Like, oh yeah, you know. They... I, I, I take that survivor's guilt from my mom killing herself, and then me not being able to control my fucking super stigma power absorbing artifact thing, I kill my surrogate older sister slash mom. Uh, yeah. Sucks. I mean, arguably being used as an assassin for maniacal anguish probably hurt some people. I mean, yeah, he probably hurt some people, but not people that were close to him, right? It wasn't like, like he probably did some bad things afterwards that he regrets. But the main, like, traumatic event was, was Hama. Like, that, that was the traumatic event. Like, all, all the stuff that happened between him like, getting taken in by Ouroboros and him essentially meeting Estelle, I don't consider that, like, necessarily trauma. Because, as he said, he was like a robot puppet. He was just, like, kind of programmed that way. So, I don't... I, I wouldn't say that. Oh, sure, trauma doesn't count if it doesn't happen to you. <laughs> I mean, in terms, like... Like, the, the thing is, right? Like, Joshua never really seemed broken up about the things he did. He was like, yeah, I regret doing it. But, like, didn't seem like the people he killed meant anything. I'm a trauma bot. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no. There it is. The truth you wanted. It wasn't that I couldn't save Rufina. I was the one who killed her. With my own hands. Right in front of you. But... But you didn't! I didn't want, though? 
Maybe not, but that's just an excuse. If I'd been able to control my stigma's power instead of letting it consume me and fill me with bloodlust, it wouldn't have happened. If I wasn't so weak, she'd still be alive today. Presuming she didn't die in the course of action between that event and now. Which may have happened. <laughs> we won't know. That's not all, either. Looking at her standing before me at that moment, she reminded me of my mother. She reminded me of mom when she came to strangle me. Suddenly, this feeling of betrayal welled up inside me. This desire for revenge. So I filled her with full of spears. I loved them both. I wanted to protect them both. <laughs> and what did I do? I killed them both. Me. Why? Why did you... Why did I what? Why didn't you tell me this before? Five years apart, and this is the first time you're telling me this. Die. I know I should have done it earlier. But now I have. And I'm ready for the consequences. So go on. If you want to avenge her, do it. If anything, it'd make me happy if you did. You're so stupid! What are you... God damn it, hey, Redden killed me again. Is, uh, is that the tyrant that you're trying to do? Or, no, that, no, no, Jarshas, the sensation. Is hey, Redna, like a character? You think I want to avenge her? It's not why I'm angry at all. Yeah, level 81 monkey. <laughs> why have you shouldered a burden that great all this time all on your own? We're family, Kevin. Why didn't you ever talk to me? Why didn't you ever let me hug you? Why didn't you let me do anything to help you? Please. I... I finally understand. I always thought you were hunting down heretics as some kind of atonement for letting Rufina die. But that's not it at all, is it? C come on, Reese. I may finally understand. You don't want to atone for anything. You don't want to get rid of your sense of guilt at all. You... You... That's right. He wants to be punished for what he did. Oh. Lure Phantasma. Why now, all of all times? <laughs> you have my congratulations on making it this far. Beyond here lies the seventh plane. The place of my birth and the foundation of all planes hereafter. Thought so. Judge by how we have to go through here to get you there. I was right, wasn't I? Right about what? Allow me to ask you once again. So, Kevin Graham, do you really want to see the face underneath this mask? Damn right I do. It's time to take that creepy mask thing and take that creepy mask thing and show us who you really are. Rufina Argent. <laughs> With pleasure. Le gasp! <laughs> Rufina? Okay. Interesting. So, she said she would, so, Laura Phantasma said she was born in the seventh plane. So, this obviously, this can't be the real Rufina. Because Rufina's dead. So this has to be some, you know, Phantasma recreation, just like, um, uh, just like, Blade Lord was. Um, where's the Blade Hazma? Seven Plane is not the Hall. Yeah, it's not the Hall. But because, yeah. So yeah. So this, this can't be the real Rufina. Like it has to be like a double. I miss you dearly, Reese. And as for you, Kevin, I'm impressed you're able to work out my real identity. It wasn't hard. I had a feeling from the start. The answer was right in front of my face the whole time. And your every taunt should have made me that much more sure. The only reason I couldn't be until now is because I didn't want to accept the truth. Quite. You always were a weakling. You can imagine how surprised I was when you were able to defeat my strongest knight. You talking about the Blade Lord? What connections does he have to you anyway? I met him through my work. Oh, 
about six years ago. We were enemies at the time, but we managed to reach a compromise of sorts. Yeah, because honestly, gonna be real here. Blade Lord? I feel like out of all the enforcers, probably the most likely that you could actually just kind of talk him down. <laughs> like, like he never, like I feel like throughout Sky for a second, second chapter, he never presented himself as unreasonable. It just usually devolved into a fight. But he was like, he was probably the one that you could most talk to. He was usually the one being like, yo, you should guys should stand down. You're not going to beat me. Because you can't beat me. I'm too strong. And he felt he owed me a debt for as much. All right, so we ended up summoning him in order to have him repay it. It's a crafty move, but that's not so out of character for you. <laughs> Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. Bill, now that you've made it this far, I assume you understand what I'm trying to do. Yeah, and I'm ready. Take me away. Take me away! Wait, what are you two talking about? I would have thought you worked the answer that, to that all already, Reese. Do you recall what I said before? Kevin wants to be punished. Th then you... I was born here in order to give him the punishment he strives for with his every breath. It was to that end that I recreated Phantasma into its current form and welcomed all of you here. <clears throat> all of this was a result of Kevin's desires. He wanted this to happen. Y you're lying! Sorry. She isn't. Couldn't tell you why it, ac it all actually happened. But what she says is true. N no. The seventh plan is likely somewhere made for the express purposes of punishing me over and over. A fit in hell for someone who let his own mother die and killed Rufina to suffer and rot. And once I'm dropped down there, this'll be all over. But that's not right! You can't be serious, Kevin. <laughs> Attack before she can do anything! Honestly, I like it. Race! Oh, she can fly. What do you think you're doing, Reese? That's not a very nice thing to do to your sister. Shut up! You're not my sister! My sister would never do something like this! Never! Reese. You promised me, Kevin. You promised me that you'd never do anything that would make Rufina sad. So what do you think you're doing? How can you believe sacrificing yourself for everyone would make her happy? Reese, stop. <coughs> Who are you to say it wouldn't? I might not be the real Rufina, but I'm a very close copy of her. Yeah, but obviously a copy that is twisted. A copy of her that Kevin wished existed. Right? Because that she even said it. She was like, I was born here to fulfill Kevin's desire to essentially be thrown into hell. So this is Kevin's idealized, quote unquote, idealized version of her. One who would want to punish him, right? right? One who would give him the punishment he thinks he deserves. Whereas from what we've seen, what Reese knows, Rufina is not that type of person, especially given Especially given that, like, even when she was dying, getting Kevin out of, like, the insanity mode, the stigma mode, like, she still hugged him, right? She was still happy that he, was, that he wasn't, like, going crazy anymore. So, the, this Rufina definitely is, like, a, a twisted version. If Kevin wants to be punished, why wouldn't I want to give him his wish? Because that's not how Rufina was at all. He'd never indulge something like that. Not in a thousand years. Think back to when you first met us, Kevin. You'd given up on the world. You just wanted to disappear. 
But she did she let you do that? No. She forced chocolate down your throat and dragged you right back into the real world, even when you didn't want to. Whether you liked it or not. She... She gave me a smooch -o. I... I... <laughs> well, this is a surprise. You've grown a lot more than I was expecting if you're able to talk back to me. Stop talking to me as if you're my sister. You are not, and I won't stand for you defiling her any further. Hmm. Well, if that's how you want to do things, perhaps I should invite you in Kevin's place. Me? No. The rest of you can stand by and watch. No. Just like the one that the that devil used. God damn. Fucking <laughs> a hell portal. See, I I really like it when so I'm not sure how you guys feel about it, but whenever like teleportation is is visually shown as like something being ripped open like forcefully like this is jagged and it's like it's not a straight line it's like torn it's imperfect i always like that because it's like oh you're this isn't supposed to be happening like you're not supposed to be able to do this like visually although i i will say i am also partial for uh for uh like ones that also have this kind of effect but it's also very clean like almost highly precise um one that i'm thinking of specifically is at like the start of dmc5 or near the start of dmc5 it shows um virgil essentially taking back the yamato and he, and like, he's able to essentially cut through dimensions and teleport himself. And he does, like, a couple slashes. And, like, the katana is what opens up, like, the, the dimension. And it's able to, uh, he's able to go through it. Like, I like that. Like, I've never been form, uh, I've never been a fan of, like, the perfectly, like, circle portal kind of, like, ones. Like, I always think that's just, that's just like, too clean. Like, it's like, ah, you know, it's not, it's, it's not giving the idea of, like, breaking a law, right? Like, because you're breaking dimensions. You're breaking how things are supposed to work. So having it be clean and circular and, like, almost normalized makes it seem like, oh, you're not really breaking anything. So I, I like it a lot better like this. <sighs> Race. Stop this, Rufina. She's not nothing to do with any of this. Oh, but she has. Consider this another part of your punishment. After all, if she suffers for all eternity in your place, that's going to make your suffering all the more potent, isn't it? Please. Go ahead and do your worst! Oh? Race. Drop me wherever you like. I'll live. I'm never going to let Kevin be alone again. I will come back to him. <laughs> Fighting words, my sweet sister. We shall see whether you can make good on them. Uh. Ah! Break through the fucking shield, Kevin. Ah! Jump into hell. Yo, real protag. Real protag jumps into hell to save his girl. <laughs> A real protag will jump into that dimension that Squidward had to fall through for a long time. <laughs> Save his girl. <laughs> yeah. No more. No. No more. Uh, nun cap. Dude, fucking Kevin MVP. Hey. Hey, Reese. I got. Hmm? Have been? Oh, okay, cool. This, yup, this is just hell. <laughs> you okay? Feeling any pain? No, I'm okay. I think. But why are you... 
I fell through that crack alone. So why are you... You big dummy! Ah, oh, forehead flick. Me? Who are you thinking with all that taunting? Go ahead and do your worst? Drop me wherever you like, I'll live? Just how do you know you'll live? Oh right, you don't! Yep, so that there is the game where we go to Gehenna. <laughs> yep. But, see, I knew that we went to Gehenna. Because I remember chiming in for like a Sky of Third speedrun for a little bit, and they were here. But I had thought that this was going to be one of like the levels that the party just kind of went through. I wasn't expecting like a drop into it. But I like, I like this a lot better. What? You're a squire, aren't you? A rookie like you with no experience or proper judgment has no business making calls that put our own safety at risk. If you can't promise to never do that again, then you and I both know that you're not cut out to be part of the Grosswitter. That's probably what I should be saying anyway, but it'd be real rich coming from me, eh? So I'll let you off with that little bop then. Huh? Look around us. This is it. The seventh plane. Wow. Bitchin'. Gehenna. Gehenna. Yep. So it's like the testaments brought to life. And I'm the one responsible for bringing it all. Oh. After all, if there's one place that's possible, it's Phantasma. I don't know how Rufina came back, but she did. With both memories and personality intact. Now I have the good fortune of being punished by one of the very people I wronged. I really couldn't think of a more fitting punishment for a bastard like me. Everything she said was dead on. More than anything, I wanted to be punished. I figured that by accepting that punishment, all of this would be done, and everyone else could go back to their lives. That I could be just like her, sacrificing my own life so everyone else could be saved. But that wouldn't make me like her at all, would it? No. She might have given up her life to save ours, but that wasn't because she was happy to throw away her life to protect someone else's. It was because she saw literally no other option. With me unconscious, she didn't even have the choice to retreat. There was no way out of the situation without one of the three of us losing our lives. That's the only reason she chose to do what she did. Yeah. She was never the kind of person who would praise self-sacrifice as some kind of virtue. She would only ever accept that as an option if all the others had been exhausted. It was truly the only way. Man, she would have a fun time with fucking Reen and, like, every member of Class 7 at most points throughout fucking the entire series. <laughs> like, how many times do people try to self-sacrifice in that- in, in, in the Cold Steel arc? <laughs> like, it's crazy! And hell, one, hell, one of the fucking Cold Steel 4 endings is literally three people all at the same time self-sacrificing. <laughs> like, goddamn. Right. But this time, that's not the case. You're here. I'm here. All of our friends are here. If we put our heads together, I'm sure we could put- we could have found another way out of here. When we're known, we'd have to die. You must have realized that. And yet you tried to take the easy way out, didn't you? Hate to say it, but yeah, I did. It's a pretty shameful thing for a Dominion to be doing, huh? At least it's not Tales of Symphonia. <laughs> yeah, right. That one. That one. That that one is main character. One of main characters tries to sacrifice self the entire time and never really learns the lesson of don't do it. <laughs> like. Like, Colette really was just like, Ah, oh, you know, is it time for me to sacrifice myself again? Says on my watch. This is the, uh... This is the, this is the eighth... This is the eighth time. Time to do it. And then there's the tree section where it's literally everyone is like, My turn. My turn. My turn. Until you get to the end where it's like, Eh, we are all safe. <laughs> Ayo. But dude, ima imagine how much of a downer the game would be if the tree section was like the end and you don't get the rest of the party back. Like, there's no like final dungeon-esque area. It's just that tree section, Lloyd beats the final guy, stops it all, end of thing, 
everyone's dead <laughs> except for Lloyd. <laughs> like, ha. That would be such a downer. <laughs> See? I've got no right to be criticizing you. I'm even less fit to be a knight than you. Still, staying around and lamenting my own failings isn't going to get us anywhere. So if you're up for walking, let's get ourselves out of here. Come again? What are you looking so surprised for? You didn't think I was going to stay here and accept being punished for all that any, did you? Well, I mean, wouldn't we still rescue Collette in that scenario? Let's imagine that Collette dies in the cause as well. <laughs> <laughs> Or, I guess, you know, maybe that would be the bittersweet thing where it's like, you know what, Lloyd promised he would protect Colette and save her, but he's she's the only one he could save. <laughs> or something like that. That that, that would be, be like the monkey paw. Either that or we, or either that or stay here and wait for Rufina to show up again. Listen, Ares, I'm not going to deny that there's a part of me, a big part, that wants to be punished for what I did. And that there's a part of me that was overjoyed to see Rufina again, however it came to be. But I'm not alone down here. You're here with me, and believe me, that changes everything. As long as you're here, I'm not staying in this hellhole a second longer than I have to. We're getting out of here, you and me. No matter what it takes. Right. Right. Okay, back to the very start of the game where I just have two. Yeah, and she doesn't have a hat on. Hey, she still got the hat now. What the flip, game? What the absolute shit, bro? Come on, bro. Change, like, come on, bro. You got to change the picture, bro. Oh, wait, who, uh, I need to check who has what. So he has Onyx Topaz, Mute. Um, that's Earth Element 8 that I have for everything, yeah. Um, could swap a point. Unplayable, lack of continuity is breaking my immersion. Honestly, you know, this was going to be like a 9 out of 10 game, but that alone brings it down to like a 5. It's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. At, uh, at high hope. Really high hopes for this game. You know, I have swiftness on, so that means I'm gonna get advantage in counters anyway. I don't really need to worry about because like all my utility stuff, I think, is on Chloe and Joshua. <laughs> uh, okay, so skeletal bug. Look at this. Uh, Steam, can I return this after 50 hours? Honestly. See, it's funny because I literally did my college thesis on, um, like, piracy in video games and does it act like, and the, the idea of it was like, does it actually hurt companies all that much, but focused a tad more on, like, the, um, the idea of, of like, how to, how to decrease piracy in general, but also not necessarily saying why it's not bad, because it's still a crime. So you can't just you can't just be doing feces on why this crime is not bad of a crime or whatever. But it was like like what like there's a level where it's like what constitutes it being quote unquote bad, right? Where it's like where it's like, what what are the main reasons for like why why do people pirate? It's like there are the, there are people that are always gonna pirate things because they don't don't wanna pay, they will not pay. Even if they were able to. That's one. So those are the people that you really can't stop from pirating. Two, the people that want to play but can't afford to play it. And there and they would thereby pirate it because they wanna play it but just can't afford it. And then there are the people that can't afford to pay, and do, and aren't pirating it. Uh, and 
you could argue the only ones that would constitute a loss is that second one. Because the final one, you know, that's a sale. That's a successful sale. The first one, they were never going to buy it in the first place. Because they're only going... They, they only want to pirate. The second one is... Well, I guess the second one has two permutations. Has the money, but doesn't want to, so pirates it. But wouldn't always pirate it. Um, and then the second one is doesn't have enough money, but wants to play it. Those two are where you constitute lost sales. Um, and then there's like the further extended reasons of why would you pirate? And it's like, because I want to try the game before I buy it. Um, but then you run the risk of, well, you have already pirated it. Why buy it? Because then that's on, you know, internal moral compass kind of thing. Um, so it was like, the entire thesis, long story short, was like, being like, okay, how do you decrease piracy, but, uh, like, piracy, basically. And it's like, well, one, uh, have the games available, right? Because, like, you get the Nintendo problem where a lot of their games aren't on their eShop. And therefore, there's no way to reasonably get the game on a modern console other than going through third market, at which point it doesn't even hurt Nintendo at that point or whatever company, because it's not a lost sale. They're not selling the game anymore. So piracy doesn't actually hurt them in any monetary way or any reasonable monetary way. You could say, oh, you're infringing on IP shit or whatever, but it's like, well, if you're not selling the game, then whatever. It's fictitious. Just as empty. Okay. Um, then uh, another way was uh, another way was like offer more demos, right? Demos for games to have those available so people that want to try them can without worrying uh, about having to pirate it so they can test it if they want to play, you know? Um, another is, you know, more aggressively discounting games because, you know, a lot, I would say a lot of the games revenues, come, like, I would have to do research on it, but I'm presuming video game revenues are much like um, movies where the money comes in very close to release. That's when most of your sales are going to happen. And then they peter off. Um, from release day onward. Uh, like, maybe after the first week, usually. Unless you're, like, Mario Kart. <laughs> At which point, eh, whatever. Tabernaculum! Uh, this chest is empty. Okay, interesting. Um, at which point, it's like, okay, maybe more aggressively pursuing uh, like discounts, making it so the game is the games become more uh, available is another way. Just don't have voices again. Yeah, it's sad. Okay. So does Earthball reach from here? Six thousand Get bodied, son. But yeah, so like that that was just my college thesis. And like it, it was just for college kind of. <laughs> like if I didn't have to do it, I wouldn't have. But I wanted to do it on something that I could at least get myself interested about. It was funny because I believe if I remember right, what I, I specifically said, and it should be noted that the, that the illegal part of this is the ROM. It's not the emulator. <laughs> the emulator is actually quite legal. Because it's just a program that replicates how another piece of hardware, you know, processes information. Like, it, it's just basically making your computer do a program that does another computer. <laughs> Cosmic Gear. Just a so I, 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 I thought that that was something that I liked including. It's like, hey, this 
this one aspect of it totally is not illegal. Increase dex. It actually decreases. So it increases defense by a bit. I'm gonna do that, that way he also has good dex because I'm using melee a bit on him for where it's worth it. Uh, yeah, let's get preemptive attack. Um, art. Uh, let's do abyss fall. Art. Earth wall. Dude, the cast three on Kevin is amazing. Like, it's insane. Like, holy crap. It is so fast. Okay. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more from those guys. Like, in the amount of time it took Rufina, or not Rufina, Reese to cast once and didn't even, Kevin was able to queue up two different spells and cast them. Of course, Reese, I don't think, has any cast orbits on her. Yeah, no, she doesn't. But she does have Anksha, which makes her speedy. So her turn should come around pretty quickly. Oh, hello there. What's in your back? Kevin Ram. You son of a bitch! How dare you! Oh, is that one of Kevin's, like, arrow bolts in him? What? On the heretics I killed, huh? Damn right I am! I'm Owen! The first of so many lives you claimed! Uh, Owen? He was a bishop in the Congregation for Divine Worship. He was also the one who hired those Jaegers to attack Asta House. All as a pathetic act of revenge after being exiled for corruption. Him? Like he says, he was my first target after taking up my role as heretic on her. <laughs> Never thought I'd have the chance to see your ugly mug again. How's it feel to crawl around in this flaming pit for all eternity? Unable to even die to break free from it all. It's hot. It hurts. I hate it. I hate it. It's hot. I hate it. I hate. I hurt. Hate. Help me. Hot. Hate. Pain. Hate. Help. Hot. Hate. 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 Help. Hate. Hot. Help. 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 Return of the cursed text. The cursed text hates our runs. <laughs> what the purple say you are now? All right. I guess you suffered enough that I can put you out of your misery. No more here to suffering for you. Just a quick death and eternal rest as a grimoire. Hey, 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 hey. Um, actually, you know what? Let's have her do death screen. Because I don't want to miss it. Look at this. Boom. CP sucker. You bitch. Luid. EP sucker. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> so KO doable. Damn it. Hey, Ninja's gone. Kevin is the the weight of the blood he's spilled. Mm. Doesn't seem to be weighing on him all that much. Especially this one. <laughs> this this guy in particular, probably not gonna be thought of all that much. Um okay. Craft. Um, infinite sparrows. Okay, we are not looking too high, so we're gonna Lacuria. Go. Do you have any good heals? You have TR all, but I'd rather do Hellgate again. Those sick attacks. I hope you're doing well, Ninja. Hope you're you're having a fine day and today. Fine. You know what? Screw it. Just. Let's go. Super fluid. Ah, uh, bitch. Bitch. Um, art. You're all. Do that. Art. Um. Roar. God, the fact that I can do a full, like, area AoE, and it's that fast. There we go. Tragedy of the Compassion, you're showing it even to the end of there. Mm. <laughs> okay.
pitiful souls. They don't deserve compassion, but I will give it to them. Fuck me. Oh, damn. Okay. I have full Sabbath on a couple things. I should probably sell it in case I ever need more, um, more, uh, Mira or more Kevin. All right. Let's keep this up. I doubt one near the exit just yet. We can't dawdle here for too long. Uh, don't know if I'm near anything. Go. Howdy there. Dead man, Wonderland? Never watched that one. Fio catastrophe faster than than Reese. Like, he cast so fast, he got... He was able to cast it prior to her even getting a first turn to do melee. Like, jeez. I love this. And, like, the game was balanced in a way, because I couldn't, like... Right, in Cold Steel, I'd be able, I would be able to have this on with the other casts. <laughs> but in this one, I, you don't. Absolutely bonkers. Okay. Go. Uh, this way seems to be an actual way. This way seems to be a path of died stuff. Beastly stew. The chest is empty. Preemptive attack. Oh, like you vanished that one. Um. What are you weak to? You're weak to water and space. So I think I have. I have that. Boom, baby. I'm boom, baby. I'm Cusco. Cold Steel balance. That concept died the moment Machias gets access to Burst Drive. <laughs> See, Burst Drive is a really good move. I rarely use Machias, though. But I will admit that is a, probably the best move he has. Um, like, even better than the craft. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Cold Steel, I think that's probably why I like Cold Steel the most in terms of, Cold Steel 1 and 2 in particular in terms of, like, gameplay, because it's just unabashedly broken, like, unbalanced, and I freaking love it. Um, wait, what the shit? Ah, oh, damn it, okay, so I guess I did take the right path, I thought... Okay, so now look at this. Hey, Priyami, hey, how's it going, dude? Hope you're having a fun time. Die, please. And this is why you put two crimson eyes on Kevin. You found Vatra! Uh, okay, what is Vatra? Okay, what Vatra is. Uh, Divans, ADF, AG, uh, you know, that's fine. Don't need it. Don't need it. But you want to get it. Wanna, you want to look at every chest. Hey, how's it going, dude? Hey, yo, dude, how's it going, my man? Clap. Clap. Bitch. Good job. Their explosions are pretty big. Ugh. Yeah, this is, this is going pretty darn good. I'll be able to go slurp my CP once I can go back to base. Wobbly rainbow? The chest is empty. Whoa, man. You shouldn't say that about someone. It might be true, but I couldn't say it. Um, okay. So, Shadow Spear, Agamagast. Okay. One, okay. His, so his, his actual attack is so low that he can't even hurt physical based things in, uh, in this area. A lot extra. Naturally, Magus is a facilitator. He's not meant to deal high damage, but rather give magically inclined the means to deal high damage. Mm. That is until you get. <laughs> that is until you. So, what I did in each game was I always. So, one and two I used. Elliot and three and four I used Muse, but that's mostly because I like the water, but build them with the water quartz that makes it so damage dealt regens EP, then give them cast like 
three, two, and one. Or give them cast like three and two. Give them Water Bell. <laughs> and give them Hades. And, uh. uh and, and then just look at, look at the artillery fire <laughs> happen so often. Like, just fantastic damage on those guys. But yeah, like, until that point, having someone with Accelerate effect is the, uh. Is the bee's knees, as the as the children say, shine sphere, shine spark. Um, uh, shine sphere, strength, and sleep by freeze. Okay. <laughs> Monkey's purpose is to make me waste an evening poring over every wiki entry. I'm trying to find the reason he used a goddamn shotgun. He has zero reason. <laughs> oh yes, Elliot. They made him ridiculous in CS4. Like, why use anyone? Else? See, I didn't really. So, when I played through 3 and 4, I tried to, like, I tried to stay away from old Class 7 as much as possible. Not because I dislike them, but because, you know, new Class 7 is kind of those games' protagonists. So I always wanted to try and use them whenever possible, which is why I said Musei instead of Elliot. Although I'm sure Elliot's pretty darn good. But yeah, it's, it's, it's funny because, like, for Elliot, for Musei, once you get them set, I, like, you got to the point where I was like, I don't remember what their crafts do, what crafts they have, or what their S-craft even looks like, because I never use it. Because it's just, why would I use a craft when I could just use insert full field water move or insert full field, uh, not time, space, not space. Mirage move, because I used Albion Wolf a lot. I, I remember you with Muse at least. I never really did. I didn't discover cheese until Fee of Aid Tank. Dude, Fee of Aid Tank was destined, and I searched for it in one and two, because I loved it. 100 evasion fee with max level cots in CS1 was broken as shit. I think I had Elliot as an actual hero. Oh, yeah, no, Elliot also had Seraphic Ring on, which is awesome. Uh, tons of characters use gun in the series as factor weapon, so why not? I think he's just talking about, like, why specifically a shotgun? Like, yeah, like, it, it's like the, it's like, why does Elisa use a bow? Why does she use an orbital bow of all weapons when she joins the lacrosse team? <laughs> Guns are a Jaeger weapon, Mama. Yeah, that's also true. Jaeger or soldier? Although, I guess you don't really see them using shotguns. Those are usually rifles. But yeah, so, like... Jaeger characters that we do see, it's like the Fee has the gun blades, Sarah has the sword with the gun, so a gun and a blade. Muse has an arts rifle, and Toa does as well. Yeah, she. Yeah. So, the, yeah. Hmm. But I, I do remember. See, Toa's was actually explained to a degree where it was like, yeah, during her, like. Her pre-class seven trial run, she was also testing out. She she was like doing the prototype testing for the orbital pistol. But legit guns without orbital tech is different in my head. Yeah, that's very true because, as far as we know, Maki's shotgun is just a shotgun. Like it uses pellets. <laughs> orbital technology can make even simple weapons formidable. Mm. <laughs> not that a basic gun is not still formidable. <laughs> Hello, I'm a mud guy. Please let me eat you. I I'm so I'm so so hungry. They did introduce more gun users with CS3, but up to that point. A child? His name's Alma. There's a young boy turned into flesh-eating monster by a fanatical devil-worshipping cult. Did it all through a ritual involving artifacts. I tried everything I could to save him. Every kind of thaumaturgy I could think of. But eventually, the only option was to put him out of his misery. No. I can... Right? You both look so tasty. So go on. It won't hurt. You didn't deserve this, kid. I'm not going to blame Adios either. If you want to resent someone, resent me. I mean, I'll be honest. I think you could blame Adios. 
Because, like, why... Like, I understand Kevin's taking the blame here because it's, like, his, you know, his demons, right? But this kid shouldn't be here. He shouldn't be like, oh, this kid is in Ghana. This is just him feeling guilt, and that's why he has to deal with it. But this kid, I hope, is not in Gehenna as in heaven. <laughs> I, I hope. So let me put you in a piece of second thought. No, I don't want to die. I just... I just... I just don't want to be hungry anymore. Yes, I get it. Um, okay. So let's just start a geocatastrophe. Um... Damn, you take a while. Don't do that. You're gonna judge him, like Anakin Skywalker, but actually logical. Well, are you saying that Anakin Skywalker's character arc through the prequel trilogy is in some ways nonsensical and could have been avoided by being just like a normal person? Although I will say the Jedi Order did not help him. Catastrophe. He goes so fast. Okay. Good. Not a spear. The overkill in terms of EP use, but. Fuck, I forgot that you would explode. Okay, Maurice, Maurice didn't go down, so that's good. If you stick out the XP. <laughs> I didn't want to get out of bed for a week after that one. But times change. This is practically another day for me now. Kevin. Oh, hugs. Why? Why have you been trying to deal with all of this all on your own all this time? She said all three times in one sentence and that confused the shit out of me. You at least talk to me. I chose the path I walked by myself, Reese. What right do I have to drag others down with me? Especially you. Nah, no, that's not why I didn't talk to you about it at all, is it? I think more than anything, I was afraid. I didn't want you to see me trying to hurt myself. Punish myself. I was afraid that if you did, the bond between us would be severed forever. And that thought alone was too much to bear. Yeah, I bet that was the real reason. Look at it this way. If Anakin had paid closer attention to the inconsistency of Palpatine's words, He'd have seen the reception for that one Mortal Kombat game. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, the guy with the the guy was good at building droids and pod racing, and not much else. right. You're stupid. You're the stupidest person I've ever met. <laughs> Couldn't you use something a little more affectionate? I called you a dummy before, right? That one's cute. Although I guess being stupid suits me. You dummy. You blockhead. You halfwit. That's an impressive collection of insults you've got in stock. You okay, Naris? I'm fine. You don't need to worry about me. I'll do all I can to get us out of here. But I don't want you to worry about me. I want you to rely on me. Okay. Okay, so... You know what, let's use some of those items that I'm probably never gonna actually get around to using on my own. Um... Yeah, this one just cures. Cures use, so it's not that great. Um... Triplet ice. CP, I might want to make some of that later. Yeah, there we go. 60 CP! Shit, son. I'll use that, because I want to know how to make that. Um, let's see. If you had to live... Uh, if you had to do a live action of Sky, which character would I want to be? Anton is allowed? Fuck. I mean... Who would I want to be? Soldier Carl, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like... 
I feel like in terms of like having a fun time, I feel like Olivier would just be the funnest to be, right? Like just going full flamboyant and just having like the rapscallion vibe all the time. But in terms of like who I could probably like look like the most, maybe Mueller. I'd want to be Ragnar, dude. Ragnar? <laughs> Ragnar would be, pretty, would be a pretty good one. Or, or, maybe I would want to be the Dire Wolf, just so I could throw out that nonchalant kick and get, and get an anti-air Estelle. That <laughs> can't be Olivia. I am terrified of water. I'd be scared of my courts. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would be interesting. Okay, so I did all those, so let's... Um, you know, you're not using your EP very much, so let's just finish you off. There we go. Okay, so how close to leveling am I with each of these characters? Um, close with you... Close with you. Okay, so hopefully they'll level up soon and I'll just get a full, um, CP. And luckily, I'm not using and my boat. Yeah, right. You you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to play your your loot. Oh fuck! You're a mirror. Okay. Okay. You 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 block physical. I think. Okay. No, you just block the first thing. I guess. Oh no, you reflect arts, but you just block physical the first time. Like what 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 is your deal? <laughs> that's my that's my question. I can't check because I don't have that thing equipped. This move is so little. <laughs> It was so nice in Cold Steel 1 and 2 how there weren't freaking mirror enemies, or at least none that I remember, or ones that really stopped me a lot. Dragon Boots, Purgatorio, Dex is empty, Dex is empty. Uh, Dragon Boots, makes the speed go down, don't want that, so... Ability go down, but defense and move up. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, I'm better for an actor, but I think Professor Russell could be fun. These. Oh yeah, no, Professor Professor Russell and Tita's mom would probably be very fun. Haunted mirror. Okay, so Spark mirror is probably okay. Spark mirror is reflects art. Other mirror is reflect physical. Okay. Uh, not gonna be great. Um, how are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a fun time. Titanic War. I could also be Richard, just so I can fuck over the good guys. Yeah, right? Certainly want to steal the Phantom Thief roll. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like being the Blade Lord would be pretty fun. You can just edge lord it up. I'm all. I did what I had to do. Vice move. Oh yeah, Vice move would be fun. You could just yuck that up all all the way to Sunda. Keep it up. If you're really good with alcohol, you do being Shero would be pretty fun. <laughs> Getting sloshed. Uh, um, it, if, if you don't want to talk a lot or be very uh, active, you could just be Agate. Because <laughs> he's not in the game very much. Who's the biggest dick, Walter? Yeah, I would say he's probably the biggest asshole of the ones we meet in this guy. That or Kanona. She's an asshole, too. But she's not a enforcer. Um. Okay, what was I gonna do? I was gonna say that's what I was gonna do. 
Go. Okay, what are you? You're a spark mirror, so can't do anything here right now. Okay, I don't know. Isn't that the captain of Calvert? President Rocksmith? Or are you talking about the... X that you meet in second chapter. Um, I can't remember. Oh, pitiful souls, may you uh, rest. Oh, wait. One eyed patch guy? Oh, are you talking about the general? The, uh, the one that doesn't like bracers? He's also a dick. Yeah. 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 Heck yeah. And Red Ollie shows up. Mm. One-Eyed Zex? Yeah, yeah, that, that's the name. Titanic Roar. That's what we can see. Oh yeah, yeah, I picked up picked up a better weapon for it, didn't I? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna try and avoid the uh, avoid the mirror encounters if possible. Hey, Zex Vandenup, uh, I got that spell. Yeah. Hey, hey Nekodev, how's it going, my man? Goddess, my thanks to thee. I feel like, I feel like I'm obligated to ask. Did you see the Persona news, Nekodev? Just as empty. Zex, Vander, Mueller, and Kurtz. Yeah. Oh. Take that. Go. Damn, it's a party. Love it. Rail locket. That's a pretty good one. I think that's. I think that's one that keeps. Yeah, all, prevents all abnormal stasis. So, do you have. Yeah, no. All stats up. Except, uh, yeah. The problem. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna. Okay. Don't wanna mess with the mirrors. Mirrors are too annoying of an, an enemy to, uh, want to deal with. Okay, thank you. Yeah, percent fire run on PC. Nice. Yeah, see, the thing is, I, was, I, I remember when I was talking with my friend as it was going on, and I was like, oh god, it just says coming to PC. I hope it doesn't mean only coming to, like, the Microsoft Game Store on PC. And I was like, nah, that wouldn't make sense, because Persona 4 is also on Steam, and Nocturne is on Steam, and Persona 5 Strikers is on Steam. I was like, it has to come to Steam. And literally the next day, I saw a thing where it's like, don't worry, it's also coming to PS5 and Steam. And I was like, okay. Whew, good. So yeah, definitely, definitely going to be doing a full stream through of, uh, of that, um, when, uh, Probably, probably after, like a while after, not a while, but maybe a little bit after, because that's going to be a month after um, Zero comes out, so I'll probably still be playing that. Um, who's to say that there won't be other, uh, won't be other subscription goal games that get met that would uh, stave that off, but um, yeah, so I remember back when I was just starting out streaming, one of the games that I wanted to stream through was like, oh, I'll stream through P5. Um, which is why it's below the stream in terms of best girls. But I never completed it. I think I got through... I think I... I don't even think I got through the first palace um, before I stopped streaming that game. Uh, but I was like, well, I did play it on stream, so I can totally pick a best girl from it. Which is why On is there. He's been there for a while. But, uh, yeah, so definitely going to be playing that game. I was really excited. But so a lot of the other games look pretty darn cool, too. Uh, but maybe not games that I would necessarily play myself. I'm so sorry, Kevin. Oh, okay, so now we're getting ghosties. Getting, like, wraiths. I failed as your mother. Okay. And I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. Mom? Is this... 
At least this way. At least this way, the two of us can... Two of them just coming at me, okay. Please take me at the dinner foist. Okay, Geocatastrophe, Arts... Uh, P1, P2, IS, P2, EP, P3, FES, P3P, P4G, P5, P5R, P3D, P4, P4D, P5D, Star, P4, and P5, uh, yeah. Never a chance to brag about playing too many games. Yeah, that's literally, like, every Persona game available. What about, what about PQ and PQ2? Play this. Um... Oh. Okay, good. Let's just get all the ads out right away. <laughs> oh, PQ. PQ. <laughs> See, I never played through PQ2 because that was, like, literally one of the last 3DS games, like, released. And I was like, I don't feel like going back to it. Especially because there wasn't any, like, English voice acting. Not that that's, like, a big turnoff for me. Um, because I'll totally play games that only have Japanese voice acting. Surprise, surprise. But it was more that I just wanted to play the game with the English voice acting, because that was... Um, that was kind of how I played all the Persona games. And let's see, Chroma. Damn, okay. Damn. Wee. Wee. Hey, 50 Mira! Friggin' everyone's here tonight. <laughs> Everyone say hi. Everyone say hi to Fifty Mirror Gaming. Well, well, welcome. <laughs> hi, Fifty Mira. Welcome to the. Uh, what is it? Well, oh, what, what, what's the meeting in uh, Wreck It Ralph? Like the villains, the the, the villains gathering. I'm good, kind of in a salty mood earlier. I hey, mean, long time no see. Uh, well, time time to water water that salt down. Let's get that salt content uh, more more dispersed with some good trails content. Fifty Mira must be a fan of crow, <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, Fifty Mira. I don't. I, what kind of interest must Reen have been charging for Crow to owe as much as he did <laughs> on Fifty Mira, which is basically just fifty yen. <laughs> Damn. That one hurt. Kevin, you, you don't. This place and everything in it was seriously what I wanted for myself. I'm probably the biggest masochist who ever lived, don't you think? You don't need to force yourself to talk, Kevin. Sorry. I suppose this moment had to come sooner or later. I've been running away from Mom's death ever since the day I lost her. Always so desperate to look away from it all. At the internet today, but they can't give it to me since I'm 30 megawatts lower than what I need to. Yeah, I feel like I use 5G internet. I got internet today, but they can't give it to me since I'm 30 megawatts lower than what they need to like use 5G internet. I feel that like that's weird. I didn't realize that there was a megabyte requirement for 5G. I find that odd. If you don't mind, what provider do you use? Because I, like, I, I have, uh, I have, uh, BIOS. And I'm pretty sure I have the lowest basis to plan. <clears throat> now, I've been running away from my mom's death ever since the day I lost her. Always so desperate to look away from it all. I'm gonna ask them about it tomorrow when I need to ring the, to return box. Hmm. This is my advice to everyone. This is my advice to everyone, gang internet or whatever. Always buy your own, like, router slash modem, depending if you need a modem. Like, always buy your own, because the rental fee that they charge you, within, like, ten months, adds up to the amount that you would need to just buy your own. <laughs> like, that, that, like, that is easily a cost that is totally worth it. And you don't need to pay the rental fee every month. So, like, it pays for itself so quickly. Uh, you don't even need, like, a super great one as well. Like, 
Uh, like, I remember when I was getting my internet installed, or just, like, set up, like, the guy that did it was the chillest, like, mf -er. Like, he was the best. Like, literally, he was like, oh, yeah, it's weird that, like, this, this isn't working or whatever, or what have you. He was like, yeah, so, like, I work for Verizon or whatever, but I'm gonna be real with you. Like, here's the router mom that we sell. Like, just go on, like, just look it up on, like, Google and, like, go to on eBay and find, like, a used one and you'll find it for, like, 30% the cost and, like, it'll be lightly used and still work perfectly fine. Like, <laughs> like, you know, like, like, don't, don't, don't pay the shit amount of money they want, they want you to pay. And I was like, dude, you work for this company and you're awesome. <laughs> Yeah, fuck corporate America. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's my piece of advice. But now, I can find—I can finally accept what happened. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Let's get going, Reese. There'll be plenty of time to be sad after we get out of this place. Right now, we need to concentrate on living long enough to do that. Okay. This music is so good. This, mu this, very, this music is very good. It's haunting, but not like... But not like disheartening. It's definitely sad, but it doesn't make me depressed. Uh, rundown. Uh, I have the rundown one I have from Old Robin, and I have a better route I got on Amazon, uh, but still limited by mobile speed. Ah, okay. Weird. Mobile speed. Okay, that's a stairway to get out. Okay. Um... I was gonna go. I was gonna come over here and heal with her. Didn't really get hurt all that much, but I wanna make sure. There you go. Bam. Hey, how's it going, you guys? Bam. Damn it! I was really hoping she'd be out of range for that. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have gone for the attack with her. Ooh, hello there. Le Chariot. Death Slugger. Death Slugger! Weak to, weak to time, so I'll take that. Damn. Boom. It's a Chariot. Grand Chariot. Sivna Chariot. Hey, that's, that's Polnarok Stan. Silva Chariot. Benu Nucleus. Okay, that, that, this is a boss. Like, this is, I think, what, was Ben and Nucleus, like, the first, um, boss that you fight in this game? I feel like he was. Dark Matter. Bam. Soul Blair. Downline, uh, God of War, hopefully, play tomorrow. Nice. Okay. Uh, is God of War coming to PC, or is it on PC already? Or is that one still a PlayStation exclusive? I can't, I can't quite remember. Yo, I'm actually gonna just have you move backwards because I don't want the explosion to kill you. <laughs> or not kill you, but Stay I get you. But yeah, basically I have my setup where my router is literally right back here because my internet box is in my closet over there. So everything is just hardwired. Like I don't have anything other than my phone and my TV out in my living room connected to Wi-Fi. Like, everything else is hardwired into it. Like, I have the Switch, which has the Ethernet adapter, my PC, Ethernet up, my PS5 over there, Ethernet it up, like, like, so that makes downloads, not like insanely fast, but pretty darn quick. Um, I don't have like crazy fast, like as I said, I just have the base level of Verizon. Um, but it's still, much more reliable and faster than what I had back when I was uh, still streaming out of my mother's home. Because that, that was not very fast. Boom. Stay alert. This ain't over. Stay alert. This ain't over. God, I stopped right in front of that. I, I had to check my teeth in the mirror before deciding to leave. Okay, Titanic roll. Do that. Bang. Yeah. Okay. Back A. Oh. 
Oh yeah, and for everyone that doesn't know, Fontano is uh, is now uh, one of my mods. So be nice to him. I think that the, I think think now I think basically everyone that regularly drops by is in the chat right now. So uh, I think I'll I think I'll say this is the last time I very specifically call it out and mention it, unless prompted. Because so one thing I will say about myself, I do find myself repeating things a bit too often, and I kind of want to get out of that habit. Of course, a lot of the time I repeat it because I just don't remember if I've said it, so... But this one I do know I've said. <laughs> I know I've done. There we go, level up, give me all my EP break. Bring an EP back. Bring an EP back. Oh, god damn it. I did. You know, I don't even want to fight you. I don't need to fight you. I can just run away from you. Don't, I don't even want to fight them here. Oh, perfect. I didn't even need to level. Uh, yeah, no, you can't. Oh, yeah, and I don't have the. I don't have the support from, uh. Poor from Ren, so I'm not getting the XP boost, but oh well. Oh well. Oh. We're at the exit. Hopefully, you assume that's the exit. Dude, that's a fucking badass threshold. Now that's a door! And that's a door if I've ever done seen one. Gates of Gehenna. Those gates are distorted but steadfast, serving to keep the living and the dead apart. Yeah, they've been accurately realized for sure. Too bad the testaments don't give us any clues as to how the two of us can force them open. <laughs> Nor do you have any chance of doing so. Who's that? About time. Oh, hello there! A pleasure to see you again, Kevin Graham. I never thought we'd have the pleasure of meeting face to face again. Certainly not in a place bedecked with so many delightful peculiarities. <laughs> we know this organ. <laughs> I figured you might show up eventually. With this place being full of people I've killed, you bring your ugly head was always a given. Who is he? He's the biggest sinner the church has ever been unfortunate enough to have in our ranks. The bishop of the congregation for the sacraments who went on to become an anguist in Ouroboros. Georg Weissman, the demon I put an end to half a year ago. Georg? That's him? <laughs> Not discerning your identity was truly my most careless blunder. I never suspected that the priest before me would be the one to inherit the long vacant position of fifth dominion. Life does so love its surprises, doesn't it? Well, that was the point. Me being in Dominion was deliberately kept secret so that I could serve as one of the congregation's trump cards. Of course, the truth's out in the open now, but it's a fair enough price to pay if it means you're dead. <laughs> the congregation always were a cunning bunch. They created such an elaborate scheme just to take out poor little me. Was the plan conceived shortly after your Sigma was first manifested? No, I'm sure it was. And after that, it was merely biding your time till you could make your move. With the Dominion, the Salt Pale, and a carefully designed game plan on their side, the odds of me escaping with my life were woefully slim indeed. You're right about how cunning they are. You can death, Weissman. Is an asshole. In that sense, you were probably just as right when you called me a damn dog. I was fine with being that way, though. <laughs> how respectable of you. I must admit, I am astounded. I'd carried out plenty of my own research on stigmas and their capabilities, but I had no idea a genuine article was capable of quite this much. What are you talking about? <laughs> I suspect that deep down, you already know the answer. It is my pleasure to elaborate. The Gehenna in which we stand is a reflection of your latent desires. That you already know. But more specifically, the cause of this is your stigma. Huh? What do you mean? After the Oriole's disappearance, Phantasma was thrown into a state of great confusion. After all, Phantasma was the Oriole's subsystem. 
Without the Oriole to control it, it was like a ship whose captain had suddenly vanished. Lost. To calm its own confusion, Phantasma sought a new master who could take the place of the Oriole and control it. Specifically, it chose the person with the deepest trauma from among those close to the Oriole when it vanished. So it took the most fucked up person. And it was like, yo, you? You have tragic backstory. And you know what? For real, I agree. This decision made found the stigma that exists with deep within you and made a copy within itself. That stigma then manifested your latent desire, Gehenna, here in Phantasma. <laughs> and that is how both this and the Lord of Phantasma came into existence. Heaven. Well, I suppose that's enough exposition for now. And now that we're clear of all confusion, I have a proposition for you. One that will allow you to resolve all of this without a single loss of life. A tantalizing prospect, no? You can do that? Really? It's quite simple. You need only to cast away your humanity. Nothing more! Delve into your Dio Brando and reject your humanity, Jojo! Your stigma rose from the ashes of immense despair and guilt. What better way to deal with this situation than to become a being that is not burdened by such worthless emotions? To become a truly self-supporting superhuman capable of controlling every facet of themselves. You're insane. That's... that's no way for people to live. Yet it is the goal I obsessively pursue in both life and death alike. My research into stigmas was what was but one part of my efforts to achieve it. My efforts with Joshua may not have borne fruit, but you, you are so very close to reaching it. And once you become a superhuman, you will be able to fully control your own stigma and emerge as a new Lord of Phantasma. Silence, Faceless. Stop trying to deceive him with that forked tongue of yours. Please, I am doing no such thing. I only presented a modest proposal at best. Not one word I've said is a lie. I swear it. You could argue that I may feel resentment towards him for being instrumental in my death, but at this point that matters little to me. Everything pales in insignificance to seeing my long-cherished ambition realized. I abandoned the church's teachings and joined Ouroboros in pursuit of creating a superhuman. And now I finally can. You're insane. Thou Reis, you don't need to keep defending me. Kevin? <laughs> I'm glad to see you understand me. I always knew you would see sense in the end. Said to disagree with the fact that I need to be stronger than I am. It was my weakness and cowardice that led me to take in Rafina's life with my own hands. It was my weakness and my cowardice that led to rejecting mom and allowing her to die. And now it's those two same qualities that have led to Reese and the others getting drawn into this mess to suffer. All of those things are on me. All of them. But you're absolutely right. There's no need to despair any longer. We have been it in you to overcome such weakness. Follow the path I've opened to you, and they will be a thing of the past. A mere memory. That's one option, sure. A good one, though. But sorry. I'm not gonna... I'm not the one that... I'm not the one I'm gonna be picking. Or it's not the one I'm gonna be picking. There we go. That's the sentence. Mm -hmm. Man, we have a marvelous night, figured. Even now, I just can't bring myself to forget the taste of the chocolate I had that day. What? When Rufina and Reese found me, I was crushed beyond measure. That I'd never be able to stand up against, uh, stand up against and overcome the despair I felt. That's why, I, that's why that bitter yet sweet taste left such a strong impression on me. That's why it gave me the strength to move forward, even knowing how many hardships awaited. Because for every hardship, be just as much joy waiting for me. Kevin. So sorry, Faceless. This thing ain't gonna work out between us. <laughs> Very well. I'm not about to force you to change your mind. But let's see how far such pathetic sentimentality 
We'll take you when your lives are placed in mortal peril, shall we? Oh, we got big chunguses. Oh, we got big monsters. No. Starte and Rastrum. You have to face both guardians of Hannah's gates at once for this round, huh? You may be a Dominion, but surely even you realize you don't stand a chance of winning in here? Not when you have to worry about that girl with you. Well, having any second thoughts. Don't you dare listen to him, Kevin. I'll be fine. Don't let worrying about me stop you doing... Let me stop you doing what's right. <laughs> well, you're right about our chances of winning. Two high-ranking devils and you against just the two of us? Things ain't looking so hot. At least, that was before I knew I'm not the man I once was. What? Ah! Ah! Kevin learned the aircraft Spear of Ur. Okay, so instead of Spear of Low, this is a space element attack that hits all foes on the field and is especially effective against devils. Uh, yeah, sure. Wow. I impossible. What is that? This is the other side of my stigma. It's light side. It's been there all along. I was just never able to see it. Until now. Can this be? Seems like I owe you a word of thanks, Faceless. Turning down that deal you threw out has finally allowed me to gain a little confidence in myself. As a token of my appreciation, you can be the first one to see what I can do. As its victim. I always knew you were nothing more than a dog. Fine! Have it your way! Let's see how much of a difference a change of color really makes against such overwhelming odds. I welcome you to try. Okay. So, first of all, let's do this. This. That's a lot of that's a lot of spears. Okay, seventeen thousand two hundred. Okay, that's workable. Um, okay, you don't like that, you don't like that. Um, you know, I am going to. Get these out of here. Um. Nice and blow. Okay. Okay. okay, that's fine. Art. Um. Okay. So. Let's see, I really wish I had. I see I got a five on this dice, okay. 4,700, eh, probably not worth it, honestly. Um, crap. Heck yeah. You lie. Ooh, you delayed me, that's not great. Another dimension? Okay, defense down. That's good. I do this. Heaven spear, spear. Boom. Okay, so they're almost done. So you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna do geocatastrophe. Everyone AOE should take out the two ads. Or eh, it's okay. Him. Flip. Um, art. You're all. Okay. okay. Who has the lowest health? Six. Get out of here. 
Oh god, okay, that was big strong. Uh we're gonna Earth Guard, yeah. See Earth Guard is a good move to just put on something. Or they have to try and heal themselves. Okay. Dark matter. That that should probably do it, right? Yeah. Okay. levels, but hey, we did it. Maximum spider. Don't you just love these enemies? Uh, I mean, honestly, they look really cool. Uh, not too not too tough. But of course, Kevin is beast with his arts. Crimson Eye! Go! Tiger Heart? Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> well done. But as long as Phantasma exists, I will never die. I'll always be watching you from here, Kevin Graham. And now you get the best scene in the game, in my opinion. Okay, interesting. Watching to see just how long you can continue to desperately play tough before accepting the reality around you. Second best. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's pretty play tough, huh? I wish I could disagree. What do you mean? Bleh. Kevin. How are you? Are you alright? I'm fine. I think I just overdid it some. Again. I'll be okay, though. I won't fly over like I did last time I pulled this. Not after I made my mind up to finally face Rufina head on. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Still, we might have beaten them, but we're not really in the best situation here, are we? How are we even supposed to get that door open? I don't think we're enough to get the budge. Yeah, but we've come this far. We can't just give up. I think we're gonna have to destroy it. As usual, you mind you mind if we at least try something else before we turn to rampant destruction? Besides, I think this gate's the most important defying structure down here. What makes this a replica of Gehenna more than anything? Can't see it being very easy to destroy. Hey! That sounds like... Is this a joke? Oh god. <laughs> fucking what? Why? why? Good fucking Gilbert is in hell? <laughs> I mean, makes sense, but... <laughs> I've never been so happy to see someone in my life! And once again, you got your way to the fire logic. Gilbert is everywhere. We find you in some weird ass places, but this one has got to be the weirdest stuff of them all. How did you get down here? His presence is more than a little suspicious. You're not working with the Lord of Phantasma, are you? Lord of what's it? No, forget it. We don't have time to chit chat. We need to run now or we're done for. Huh? Oh, was that? Roaring. And the sound of flapping wings. A lot of them. Gilbert can't be in hell. He's too much of a jobber to do horrible things. I mean... I mean, he'd taken part in some pretty bad... Like, the, like I would say he probably hasn't successfully done bad things himself. But he has been a facilitator for other people to do bad things, and has tried to do them. Oh god, hello there. <laughs> ah, I could take him. Are those devils? They're not as high ranking as the two we just beat. They're no slouches either. Are we supposed to take this many on at once? We did hold Janus Academy hostage. That is true. Do something! This is your responsibility! I don't want to die out here! Do you think we do? I should, don't? Damn it. He's too much of my stigma's power. Gotta at least try and give these two an opening to get away, but how? I'm so scampy! Stay back! Stay back! Kevin, I don't think I've got much of a choice here. Open the gates of hell! Yeah! Stell comes through first. Is it? She's the sun. Kevin! Feast, are you okay? Dude, fucking... 
friends opening the gates of hell to come save you is equally as metal and awesome as willingly jumping into the pits of hell to save your girl. <laughs> Thank goodness we made it. What is this place? Hell? Oh my, this looks like a one-to-one -one replica of Gehenna. My compliments to the designer. Nice to see you two hanging in there. <laughs> I can see we're in for a few fun time. Why the heck is Gilbert with you? This might be the most people fighting at once pre-Cold Steel. Y you guys! Why? After you fell down here, Celeste was gracious enough to search for your location. And thanks to you having the cube with you, we were able to find it. She finished connecting a path here only moments ago. This door will take you back up to the garden. Really? We appreciate it. I can't believe my luck! Anyway, the talking can wait until later. We'll charge in and try to force an opening in their ranks. We are the pre-CS part pre party law. I mean, there is another one pre-CTS party, and it's coming out in just a few months. Crossbell. New game. Never before shown. Totally new. No one knows anything about it. Crossbell games. We're all excited. We're all going in blind, right, fellas? I have no idea who this Lloyd fella is. <laughs> you take that chance to break through and get through with the gate. Hurry. Can't wait. Honestly, can't wait. I'm so freaking excited. Thanks. Truly, thank you. And shall we begin? A most thrilling dance with devils awaits! Righteousness shall be victorious. Fall before the blade of a vander. I'll also be getting Kuro too. Yeah, right? Isn't that just the biggest kick in the balls, right? The same month that we're getting Crossbell 1, Japan is getting Kuro 2. Play it three times, once in Chinese, for sure, by some where we said. Let's do this! Right! <laughs> pew 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 pew! Yeah! Dude, I like how you can tell the badass this level of certain people based on who chooses to solo some of the devils. <laughs> right, like you see Ren just jumping. I'm soloing this bitch. But damn. Thanks, guys. We got some real friends. And here, Shadows in the Sky the Third, Chapter 7, The Distant Frames. Yes, indeed. Boom, baby. Okay, so let's come over here. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's that irks the shit out of me. I forgot to put a space between the end of the word chapter and the number 7 in the title, but now we're in Chapter 8, so I can correct that mistake. Don't worry, you guys didn't see it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Play crossbow arc three times too. Eh? <laughs> Stellar Analy, stop hitting yourself, girl. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, once once crossbow comes out, I'll have to uh, I'll have to wait for some of the speedrunners to beat the game a, a time so I can ask for a a save file so I can do all the quests in my in my run. I'm not going to do the thing where I... See, I feel like a crossbow, I want to have it be more um, Cold Steel-esque, where I do have to wait to upgrade everything. But uh, I do still want the New Game Plus save file for the quests. Um, well, three times in some rounds, yeah. It'd be weird with no English audio. I mean, yeah, it is... It is one of those things where they probably don't believe it'll sell as strong, which is why they're probably not investing in the English audio for it. But, you know, there's still going to be the Japanese audio. And, you know, may maybe, maybe there'll be, uh, like, with the, the right there. Um, come on. Let's, come on, buddy. Let's have your words come out in one sentence. There's the trails in the dub, right, people, that did, uh, or that are working for, to do the trails in the sky English dub. Right? Maybe 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 there'll be a get over the dub <laughs> uh team. And if they reuse the move lines from CSR. I mean they could reuse the move lines, but I mean for like dialogue and stuff, like I feel like that would be uh I, I feel like that'd be smaller. I mean I guess it would put on the same level as Sky, right? Because that's where the only English audio is. But looking at the full audio. Yeah. But regardless, it'll still be a great game. I don't know how the run would work with glitches. <laughs> I mean, that, that, 
And that'll just be something we have to figure out. That's about the long and short of it. Damn, dude, that sucks. <laughs> In other words, all this... Everything that's happened... is my fault. All of you are victims who had the misfortune of knowing me and getting dragged into this. No apology isn't sincere enough, so... But... I'm so sorry for what you've been put through. I'm not following. Why? I've heard all you said, but I don't think you've got any reason to be that sorry. Come against, though? Based on what we've learned, Phantasma choosing a new master was an inevitability, and something it would have done whether you were there or not. As such, after it lost the Oriole, something like this would have happened no matter the circumstances. I agree! Phantasma would simply have chosen someone else and created a different world as a result of the trauma that lay within. The thought that you might have been chosen is nothing short of terrifying, too. Everything that has happened to us in here so far is nothing compared to what we would have endured had that come to pass. See, the thing is, right, like, let's say Kevin wasn't there, and you were still picking the people out of the party. Like, I feel like Estelle or Josh, or, not Estelle, Joshua or Ren probably would have been the next closest to being chosen for, for like, that kind of thing. Or, like, who had, who had the most effed up trauma in the vicinity. I like to imagine that everyone who isn't in the adventuring parties is just getting the worst summaries possible of what happened in the field. Like, yo, so... Yeah, we don't take very good notes. And I, you know, some of it between the bows, it gets a little bit hazy, but yeah. <laughs> oh, Mueller, your words are like the sweetest kiss turned frozen upon parting. Do you have that little faith in me? You're one and only. Perhaps everyone here would have been drawn into the most ravenous feast the world has ever seen, but nothing more than that. I'm scared. I'm just disgusted. You're a special degree of creep, you know that? I want no part of any feast that comes from out of your, out of your brain. Uh, count me out of this one. Um, can't help but feel you guys are kind of missing the point. Well, don't take this as me trying to defend you or anything. But in a sense, it might have been a good thing you were chosen over anyone else. How do you figure? I'm lost as well. Your stigma's obviously very powerful, and it's capable of exerting a lot of control over things. Enough so that Phantasma as it is now exists in a state of order. What if I had chosen someone else? Would the world have been able to maintain order then? Hmm. It's possible that Phantasma would have been unable to contain the chaos that ensued and gone out of control under someone else. Is what you're essentially getting at, right? I knew you'd understand, Joshua. If that had happened, a whole lot more people might have been caught up in this. Not that I've got a problem with lots of guests at a tea party. The more the merrier. C come on, Ren. I think you're the only one who'd be having fun. <laughs> He's right. I don't think you've got any reason to beat yourself up over this. We're all very different people from different walks of life. But right now, we're all here. Sharing a common destiny. Yeah, in times like these, we gotta help each other out, right? Besides, this place relates to the Oriole, which is Liberal's problem. From my perspective, you're a victim. I couldn't agree more. As such, Kevin, we would appreciate you continuing to lead us as you have done so far. It's time to truly bring an end to what was started half a year ago. What can I even say? <laughs> First I'm stupid, then Reese pulls off the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Now you guys? This must be the biggest group of idiots in all of Zemuria. I swear, you wouldn't find a more gullible, naive bunch anywhere on the continent. I was happy to be to use each and every one of you from my own devices right to the very end. How can you be so... so... It's alright, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to know when to give in. And you're at that point right now. Your luck ran out the second you got stuck with us. <laughs> got stuck with you, you mean? Spending too much time with pushy, meddling do-gooders who don't know when to quit like you is bad for anyone. You want to say that again? <laughs> All of those things describe you to a T, that much is true. Uh, they certainly do. Um, I... I think they're your good points, though. Yeah, so do I. I think Estelle's rubbed off on all of us at this point, and that's not a bad thing. Thanks, guys? Group of idiots is right. We're smack dab in the middle of a shitty situation here. You wouldn't know it by looking at us. Start at 14, 15 left? Yes, I believe so. 
I wasn't able to do 14 because I'm presuming the final door that they were referencing was the door to hell. Um, and I haven't found the f door 15 yet. Um, and then I want to, of course, do the final um, arena door as well, but I don't have the item necessary to unlock it. Or the final arena level. With a team this spectacular, what do we have to fear? There's a chance we could even overthrow the Erebonian government if we put our minds to it. Need I remind you that that's not something an Erebonian prince should be saying out loud. <laughs> alright, alright, I know when I'm beat. We're in this. Together. And this time I actually mean that. Got it. Happy to have you with us. Did you find the palm boss? I don't remember finding the palm boss. Anyway, at least now we know exactly what we need to do here. Door 15. You should prepare yourself. Emotionally, I mean. Oh, God. We need to defeat Rufina, the Lord of Phantasma. There's no getting around that. Unfortunately not. Indeed. With that said, just where is she? You didn't encounter her in Gehenna, did you? She disappeared right after you two fell down there. That's a good question. I think it's safe to say that she wasn't down in Gehenna with us. If she had been, she would have shown herself at some point. Yeah. But then where is she? I believe I can answer that. Celeste? Didn't realize you were here. Can't thank you enough for saving the hides earlier. Truly, I doubt we would have been able to get out unharmed if not for your assistance. We're both grateful beyond words. <laughs> I was more than happy to help. All of us here in the same predicament, myself included. You can even think of me as another one of your companions, if you'd like. Ghost lady! <laughs> Naturally. What kind of answer are you thinking you can give? Ah, uh, yes. It took some time, but I was able to ascertain her current location. What? R really? Is that what you've been working on all this time? Yes, it is. During my investigation of the seventh plane, I was able to gain an understanding of the layout and contents of Phantasma as a whole. I also discovered that the Lord of Phantasma isn't in any of the planes. Rather, she is outside of them. Phantasma consists of more than just the planes? What's it like outside of them? Think of the planes you've been exploring like a giant, multi-layered structure in the center of Phantasma. They're all you have known up until this point, but this world consists of more than them. That said, the rest of Phantasma is just a vast, barren wasteland at this point, abandoned and devoid of life. Hard to picture without seeing it for myself. You know where in this big abandoned wasteland she is? Because if that if it's that vast, just knowing she's there probably isn't going to help us much. I have a relatively good idea where in it she is, thankfully. Although that doesn't solve the core problem. I fear the word vast doesn't do the scale of the wasteland itself justice. I believe it's roughly the size of the continent where you live. Jesus. It's the size of Zemuria? That is going to pose a problem. Crossing an area that massive on foot would take months, maybe even longer. Do we not have another means of transport that we could use? Hmm. I'm not sure my power would be of any use to you here. I can't place monuments too far from this garden, for one thing. Even when we did commence after trekking across the whole thing on foot, that the cube's power, we couldn't we couldn't come back and resupply. What about with cough cough the airship that Josette uses in her S craft? Cough cough. Trying to take several months worth of food hardly seems realistic. Well, this is a tough one. I can only think of waiting for her to come to us. What's up with you, short stuff? Got something on your mind? Well, I was just thinking. Why not use the air sail? Uh, what? The replica we encountered on the first plane? Yeah. This world is supposed to react to the desires of people in it, right? So while the, that our sail might not be the real one, it just look, it looks just like it. Everyone here is pretty familiar with the real thing and how it looks, so it seems like a ship we could all picture flying easily. But if we all wished for it to fly together, it might actually happen. <laughs> Everyone looking at the most, like, adorable cinnamon roll ever. Yes! We're glad she's smart! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm being silly, aren't I? I don't know what's gone into me. This isn't something an engineer should be saying. I don't think you're silly at all, Tita. In fact, I think that's a fantastic idea. You do? That seemed like the easiest something is to imagine, the easier it is to have it realized in Phantasma. Both you and Julia are familiar with the exact structure of the assail, while most of us here have seen it and been on board it. This might actually work. 
There's clearly no rule saying airships can't exist here either, given that we've already been on the Black Ark. Well, Celeste, do you think it would work? Your sail was the ship you used to board the Liber Ark, I believe. If I were to feed the image of it flying then back into the system... Well, it didn't fly under the Liber Ark. It fell onto the Liber Ark. <laughs> <laughs> I think this may actually be possible. If all of you are on board, the White Wings will take to the skies once more. We can really make this happen? You believe it? Well done, Tita. Totally. You really outdid yourself this time. Wait a second. Does that mean we won't be able to make the bobcat fly? There's a copy of that here, too. Oh, you're right. Hmm. How many of you are familiar with that? Crap. God about that. I think Josette and I are the only ones who have actually flown in it. Cher, Olivier, Olivier, and I have technically been in it, but that was just the stowaways. Yeah, that was back when we were investigating that airship hijacking. <laughs> what a fond memory that adventure made now that I look back. I'm not sure what odds of success would be then. That's a rather small number of people. I think it would be wise to focus on trying to revive the Arsail first. Ah, uh, okay. Still, this sounds like a much better plan than trying to walk there on foot. We should prepare for departure at once, then make our way to the Arsail. Oh God, tell me twice. I have a lot in store for us if we're able to make it worse. Make this work. However, I should warn you all of one thing. Once you have flown the Arsail to the area where the Lord of Phantasma awaits, that will be it. You will be unable to return to this garden ever again. Please be mindful of that. Never. Not even once. Because we won't be able to use the cube's warp functionality anymore. Correct. Using it to warp is only possible when you are within a certain range of the garden. Go outside of that, and it is no longer possible. So before you depart, I would ask that you make absolutely sure you have everything you need and are ready for whatever you may find there. Good to know. Wouldn't hurt to do some extra training, then. I don't doubt we're all going to have to, gonna have to play our part in things to come. Yeah, you're right. Wouldn't mind getting some exercise myself. Wouldn't want to uh, wouldn't want to wind up being the one to drag the group down. This will be our last opportunity to open the door scattered throughout the plains and take anything we find too. It's probably best I step down as leader for the time being then. If you're just door hunting or trying to get some extra practice in, I'd only get in the way. If anyone else wants to learn how to use the cube or fill out my notebook, I'd be happy to teach you. Just let me know. Let's just be sure that when the time comes, we leave with no regrets. Right. Okay. So, I'm guessing Chapter 8, The Future We Dream Of. So, I'm guessing I do start or 14 and it automatically lets me do 15. And I'm presuming I picked up whatever I needed to pick up in Gehenna to do um things. Right? Um, no problem. Uh, okay. So... Also, I'm not sure if I should level up my characters now. Um, Let's go. Yeah, I'm, I just want, I just want to try or look at everything else. Um, start or 15 to unlock 14. Wait. Okay. Okay. So. I can't do Star Door 14 right now. I have to do Star Door 15. The end returns to one only when you have released all of the other doors. Show this one. Okay, so where's Star Door 15? Because I guess I missed it. Unless it's not here. Um, let's go to the sixth plane. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't go back to Gehenna. Interesting. Give me a quick surprise when she summoned her friend. Still, what may have been possible to do so. In fact, I actually said some serious tale meant to physically. She's not doing that. I think you might have to. Okay. Just then, I may have one piece of news that I think you may be interested in hearing. Here, Kevin and Reese fell into, uh, is not the only part of the seventh plane that exists. I have discovered another, much more vast area there. I also have reason to believe that it's filled to the brim with devils as well as highly dangerous. Nonetheless, I've placed a monument down there to serve as an anchor should you wish to explore. Okay. You should be able to warp there using the cube. The Abyss. Okay. It's not possible to warp to an area. Okay. There we go. Comes private enemies. Devil's included. Making it a perfect place to efficiently level your party members. Thank you, Dave, so you don't need to actually fight. Only make your way to the bottom. 
Okay. Interesting. So, let's go check that out. Seven Plane Abyss. Now, I, I do feel like I want to fight, at least to try and level up some of the characters. Because I definitely want my main party to be good level, and Joshua and Chloe didn't get anything in terms of levels um, because of, you know, not being in hell. Um... Damn it. Okay. Oh, well. Still a ways to go. Okay, so getting good XP for that, guys. Uh, fun fact, I failed these bosses several times due to the fact that my controller double clicked often and never asked you if you want to run away in these games. Oh, God. Attack. Hellgate. Kill them before they can do anything. Uh, okay. Yes, celestial bomb. The chest is empty. Okay, so they still don't. Still not talking to me. Okay, boom. I'll get it. That's really titanic. Easier this way. It's only 35. Didn't you just guard my thing? Got it. Up, good, good, good. It's chariot. Uh, ah, oh, fuck. Um, flex arts. Flex. You know what? You know what I said. I'm not. Gonna, I, I'm not gonna bother with, with any any fight that has shields. Why bother? Okay, there we go. Boom. Or... Okay, so... Oh, the one with the club... Comes... Oh, the one with the club is immune to Earth. Okay, that explains. That's that. Okay, I didn't even realize that they were different enemies. Nope. Got a shield, don't care. A mirror. A kagami. It's a mirror in Japanese. Alright, what's I kinda just wanna get deep enough into this area to consider it to see how many actually how many how many how many it's not gonna tell me how many things c5 that's mira chest is empty knees weak arm sweaty oh no my sweatshirt already mom's spaghetti go back yeah Oh, pitiful soul. Oh, yeah, okay, so then getting Joshua and Chloe up to snuff. Go. Still a ways to go. Yeah, 131, 132. See, I don't know what level everyone should be when I get to it. Wait, no chest message. Yeah, none of them had the chest messages. Are you saying or are you saying I didn't check the chest message? The chest is up there. Yeah, the, there are no chest messages in Gehenna or in this area. They just don't like having fun. There was some. Doesn't seem like it. 
Okay. Got it. Yeah. My thanks to Tiger Heart. Chest is empty. Oh yeah, I also got right, like I got um I think I got another crimson eye. So do I wanna put that on? Do I just wanna go full? Because right, like this one prevents seal movement. You know what I do? Finally, some relief for the chest message, I <laughs> Yeah, basically. Funny if they scream for help as a human. Yeah, it would be funny. Tiger Heart, Strength. I don't think I gave Tiger Heart to anyone. Um, so that's good. I don't think I have any other stuff, though. Now, Chloe will be doing freaking hella damage. Uh, I wonder, am I. Oh, I should check uh, to see if I can. Uh, yeah, because I'm. Maxing out my Sabbath right now. Uh, can I find another? Yeah. Uh, Cause I want to see if I might be able to buy a time gem for Chloe as well. Good job. To give her potentially cast three. Because if I'm double crimson eyeing her, that's basically just a uh, a mimic setup of what I have for Kevin. So that would actually be pretty uh, good. Damn, we're Playing uh, two Titanic Roars before Chloe gets the one. Uh, okay, boom. Bam. You know what? Screw, haven't seen. Haven't, haven't see, really seen much crafts today. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no movement because of the crimson eyes. Yeah, you are definitely just supposed to kind of sit still and exist. Well, yeah. that takes care of that. Does this place just like wind continuously? Or is there actually like a depth to it? You just said you had to get to the bottom. So like these guys, tear all bomb. I think I think I'll just start running by these guys because uh, actually yeah it is there a bot is there a bottom yeah, yeah. <laughs> immediately. Wait, what did that say? Area one okay. Dangerous me like, yeah sure I'll do I'll do this. Okay, so what am I looking at here? Not immune to anything. So that's good. No reason to hold back on the s -crafts. Earth wall? Oh wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn it, okay. Well, great. That's screen. Thank you. Earth walls out. Okay, use arts. Um, catastrophe. Take a crit. Spear of her. Good. There we go. Take care of that guy. Damn it. Of course he went for the one who wasn't guarded. Well, that's Easy enough. That. Okay. We have the fiends. Murian or oh, okay, so this is how you get your your final weapon, each of these guys, each of these bosses. Mysterious Spring is here. Drink. Okay, so full EP. 
Oh, uh, okay, is that how it works? Because this will this will probably take me a bit to get all the way to the bottom. But it doesn't seem like there's... Anytime you come in, do you have to go through the entire abyss? Like, is that how this area is set up? Like, you, like there's no, like, quick way. Because I was, I was expecting, like, oh, the next boss, you know, you beat him and then you can teleport all the way down to where you fought him. Okay, okay, Zigma, Zigma flipping balls. Empty. Nope. I don't feel like fighting you guys. God, this area is long. Yeah, chances are what I'm gonna do is. Well, depends on how deep I get in this place, um, this stream. Because I'm probably gonna end the stream soon, because it's already past 9 o'clock. Where I am, um, but um, I'm probably gonna let. I'm gonna, probably gonna grind. I think there's another chest on the previous floor. Eh. Oh well. I'll get. I'll get it next time I run down. Maybe. I don't know. Not the biggest deal. Probably just a item. Okay. Can't fight. Okay, so this time I don't have Kevin's S-Craft, but oh well. Okay, got you. Go. Go. Damn, I was hoping at least, like, one of them would get petrified. Um... Actually, I need to... Oh, you're actually weak to this. That's good. They got a lot of turns coming up. Swarm of evil. Oh, you fucking serious, dude. Do that, then use your ass craft. Heal us, Christ. your ass craft again. Kill, kill these guys. Um, cause I need to... Sure, he is all healed up. I thought I did too. I think it just gives plus defense on, uh, on allies. Arts. Okay, here's what we do. Here, yeah. 
Um. Arts. Uh, what are you guys weak to? You guys are weak to the Let's start. Maybe not with that. Um, can I do Evil Eye? Evil Eye. No. You guys don't respond. So, let's just do this. Art. Are you serious? You guys are far enough about the way I'm doing this. Uh, it doesn't say that it did though? Maybe. Vector is 3. Cures 2300. Cures KO. So it just says Cures KO. So it, d it doesn't say. F Cure KO with the full heal. Um, unfortunately, I wish it did. Uh, okay. Let's try that. I shield. Protect everyone. Dark matter. Very good. Uh, at least here. Do your thing. Boom. Boom, go down. All, oh, I should have used Kyria. He's just kind of sitting there. Can really do anything. That's great. No. It is odd, though, I will say. Like, you would think that it would also just do full heal. Like, you would think that it would apply the res before the heal, instead of it, it being the heal before the res. Okay. Okay, the fiends, and you're in. So how many of these bosses are there? I'm, I'm presuming four. Or like three with a final one at the bottom. Luckily, turbo movement is quite quick. Quinty Ribbon. What the heck is Quinty Ribbon? Is it only for females? Is it an item? Is that a key item? Whatever. No idea what happened to it. Let's presume it's not a big deal. Yeah, all those, those, those are wasted chests because I haven't spent my Sabbath, so. It's actually unfortunate that I've got them. That I didn't think to try and spend my Sabbath prior to coming down here. Alright, there's a Mira. Cool. Uh, damn it. Yeah, well, at least I have the quartz on that makes every fight I do a, um, a good one for me. Doing this, just trying to. CP up. Every turn active. Go. Let's take you. Sobler. Alright, what's next? Good, good, good. Seems like each one I go into, I'm prepping less and less for. But, oh well. That's why you save beforehand. Okay, so I'm looking at you guys don't like that. 
that one. Okay. Like, that's the best part about this. It doesn't matter that he's prepping to use arts because we can just focus on damage. Okay. So I will say that the... The fact that Joshua isn't doing all that much damage in his attacks is odd. I think I need to get him up better. Oh, I'll, I'll check his, um, check his equipment after this, just to make sure that all is as it should be. And this time, we should be beating him this time. Boom. Easy as pie. You're able to kill the ads really easily. Pretty, pretty darn nice. Okay. Okay. Save, save. Damn. Please just give me another fast travel point. Cause like these are the guys that I would probably want to be grinding on, uh, like once everything's said and done. But they're all like, way far down here. Okay. Oh yeah, I was gonna check. Joshua's trying to size of his number. He still has Honestly, I feel like he doesn't necessarily need cast two. I could probably equip him a little bit faster. For cast three? No, cast three is the time jump. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'll try and think of some other quartz that I want to put on Joshua instead of cast. Especially because I'm really just using him as a S craft, S craft guy. Term invitation, nice. That's the thing I need for the arena. So I was wondering if I was gonna get it. Chest, Levin's born plus. It's a good thing the term invitation was not in that other one that I potentially messed up on, like the second area. <laughs> How many floors are in each area? It feels like it's like five or six. Oh god, it's a thousand Sabbath. Really just mocking me with my full fullness. Okay. Okay, so this one is probably the final one based on the way it's looking. Oh, there's a door. Okay, so this is how you do it. You can bring to me the girl loved by the world's darkness. Only then shall the door open. Loved by the world's darkness. Ren? Hey, the palm boss. Okay. Mysterious monster back in here. Oh, is this literally just like the grind boss? 
Tempest Bomb. It uses deadly attacks. Um... Shit. Uh... What? Why did that do, like, nothing? Um... Excuse me. be a 200 CP um, Okay. So that, that. Okay, is that the thing? Like, it has to be 200? Is it 200 CP? Is that... No, okay, so there's just... So... She's just, I guess, weak. You have... Okay, so that one... Yeah, because that one's based off her magic, so... Wow, okay, so... Oh, okay, so they give a whole bunch of T Anklet Plus. Be the monsters of Mirren or Tempting Fate. What the heck? It's shining Emblem. What the? Defeat all of this week. Okay. Shining Emblem. Cool. Um, item. Uh, this bitch out. Shining Emblem. Various that prevents element except KO. Um, let's try Divine Blue. Uh, no, that was good. Blade Lord Emblem? No. And there's nothing. Okay, so basically the only place you can teleport to is this one. Okay. But at least now I have an area that I can teleport to again at the base of it and fight the better monsters. Um, okay. And Love by the World's Darkness. I'm gonna presume that's Ren, although I presumably have whatever characters I need to access the door. So that'll be a next stream kind of thing. Might want to check out what uh weapons, right? Because Okay. So let's just Yeah, let's just buy the best weapon for everyone. Because they're all gonna be used, I'm presuming. Um, I think... Let's buy two of that, because that one gets used by two people. Buy two of that, that one gets used by two people. That's Tito, one. Knuckle, that's only one. Um, I don't believe... Yeah, her weapon's gonna get powered up when I go to the... thing. Um... I did not mean to do that. I meant to go synthesize quartz. Synthesize quartz, quartz, earth, 
defense four, topaz gem. I do you have some of those water? Actually, I wanted to check out uh, impede four. Okay, so you only get the one time gem, it seems. Okay, so there's nothing better I can buy or do. Um, okay, so what I am going to do, file, save, do that. Um, what I'm do? You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you what the hell I'm gonna do. Um, swap her out. And I'm gonna go. Okay, gonna do that. I'm doing that. You wanna know why I'm doing that? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna start next stream. Right? I'm gonna start next stream with the uh with the with this. I'm gonna start next stream with the arena. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. But that's a next stream thing. So um yeah, thank you everyone for dropping by. Thank you, Neka Dave, 50 Mira, thank you, Montano, thank you, Ninja, thank you, um, basically everyone. I feel like everyone that regularly watches uh, drop by tonight. Thank you, Manix. It was great talking to all of you. Um, I will be streaming this on presumably Friday again. Um, I. I'm not sure how much I actually have left in this game. I presume because I'm going to be doing the arena and the final two star doors that um, I'm not going to be beating the game next stream. Uh, so I'm not, I think I'll have one more after that, although I'm not exactly sure, but that's my guesstimation depending on how long the doors take. But uh, regardless, Thank you all for dropping by. It was great seeing you all. It was great talking to you all. Um, it was a very fun stream. Hope you all have a very nice night. And will join me next time. Bye.